Hey everyone, it is VR video response time for our good friends Sammy Thunder and Orlando at a collector's dream. They just hit a milestone of 2,000 subscribers. Congratulations guys. What they want you to do in this VR is give a little hobby love. Shout out the favorite YouTubers that you watch. Now we have a lot of friends on YouTube, so we're going to be going to estate sales, thrift stores, and antique malls, and we're going to shout out channels along the way. All that and much more starts now. Cut, drink. That's Robert's tag. Oh, right, 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 right. My, my good friend Robert at Commenting Collector. My apologies, Robert. All that and much more starts now. Follow right, me. Let's take two. Okay, let's take it from the top. As Mrs. Diaz and I try to figure out this intro, we start things off at an estate sale that features autographs of Hall of Famers Yogi Berra and Mickey Mantle. These autographs are from 1956 after a game in Chicago at an upscale Italian restaurant. They signed the back of this wine menu. At $475, I ultimately passed because it didn't pass the eye test and it wasn't authenticated. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now the one guy that I wish was with me was Scott at Stoops Baseball Cards and Curiosities. He really knows his stuff. He just posted a video of these baseball Heartland statues. That video was very informative. After watching his video, we feel so much better about our purchase. We picked up this beautiful Heartland baseball statue of Babe Ruth. And at 75% off, it do not get any better than that. No, it do not. As I'm learning more and more about vintage baseball cards, there's one channel in particular that I get a lot of knowledge from and that I want to shout out. Who am I talking about? Shout out to White Sox fan card. He said no speed on the manager card. Here we got Al Lopez, Chicago White Sox manager. We go from the south side of Chicago to Wrigleyville, where my buddy Steve, over at Vintage Cart Steve, really loves the Cubbies. Now when you're talking about legendary teams in Chicago, my friend, look no further than the Bears. At this estate sale, I've located an autograph of my favorite player of all time, Sweetness, Walter Payton. Not sure if you guys know this, but my fandom began in 1985 with the Super Bowl shuffling Chicago Bears Monsters of the Midway. At $20, we picked up these MLB baseball pins. Now one sports guy who enjoys sports cards and Disney is our pal Jason over at Jason VT Sports Guy. One of the good guys in the hobby and he's really going to enjoy what we found at this estate sale. Now Mrs. Diaz has most of these Disney figurines but she doesn't have this figment. Now, one tip that I do have when going to these garage sales, estate sales, is take a look at old baseballs, footballs, and basketballs, because you may find a gem. No luck here, but stick around to the end of the video. You wouldn't believe what we found at Goodwill. We found an incredible collection of stamps, binders and binders of commemorative, and first day issue stamps. There is something for everybody in this stamp collection.
We recently did a VR for our buddy Hugo at Signs of the Pastime. He wanted us to showcase our biggest pickup of 2023. Although picking up Thor's Mighty Hammer was pretty impressive, this stamp collection may have taken the cake. While we're shouting out favorites on YouTube, I definitely want to shout out BK at Mac Wax Stacks. He's a grown man and he loves the hobby of collecting. And I know he'll enjoy this giant card. This genie bobblehead was too epic to pass up. Another tip I have while going to antique malls and estate sales is to search the playing cards because you might find some hidden treasures. Check out this rookie class. We conclude this video by showing you the gem that we found at the Salvation Army. This Michael Jordan basketball from the 1990s. Hope you guys enjoyed this VR video response. Stay tuned for more fun videos. Till next time, from the top of my heart, nothing but net.